Good morning and welcome to the Board of Health meeting for the Town of Shrewsbury. Today is July the 21st. Uh, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Uh, our chair, Mr. Stephen Vigent, has retired, so in a moment we'll make a call to have someone become the chair of the board going forward. But in the interim, uh, before we start that, I want to welcome Ms. Karen Rosacci, who is our newest member appointed to the Board of Health. Ms. Rosacci is a nurse practitioner, and uh, we thank you for your uh, work in the health field. And so we have all three people working in the healthcare field, so that's, that's nice. Uh, nice to have a Board of Health with that. So that will open up the meeting uh, to say, somebody want to be a chairperson for the board? I'll volunteer. Fine with me. <laughs> Fine with me as well. <laughs> Great. With that, I will turn over to our new chairperson, Ms. Jenny Fishman. All right. Great. Um, so next on the agenda is to review and approve the minutes from the June 30th Board of Health meeting. Do I have a Make motion, a motion to, approve? to approve? Do I have a second? Aye. Aye. <laughs> uh, so Dr. Abraham? Aye. Jenny Fishman? Aye. Karen Versace? Aye. So approved. Uh, next up is review and discuss coronavirus COVID-19 updates. Yes, uh, <clears throat> yes. good morning, everyone. Uh, Karen, nice meeting you, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you. My, my name is Solo Dennis. I'm the director for the Division of Public Health in the Center of Mass Health Alliance, so thank you. Great, thanks. Uh, my colleague, Emilia Halton, is senior public health uh, nurses on vacation, so uh, uh, as of today, there was one new arrival TV infection on the surveillance not classified as a disease at this time. Uh, one COVID positive staff at the nursing facility. Uh, no cluster to report this month or West Nile virus alert. <coughs> uh, Amelia is working on coordinating an opioid epidemic update uh, with the DA. Uh, she usually does it with all the senior centers in town and she plans on coordinating that effort. Uh, she also working on providing NICAN trainings to all the senior centers in towns. Uh, waiting on information on a new round of COVID vaccine for the fall. At this point, we don't have, and there will be, there will be commercial s state supply as well. Uh, that's all from, uh, in terms of, uh, what's a, what the, uh, in terms of public health nursing. Um, Dr. Eber, anything to add to that? So yesterday's Boston Globe carried an article that there has been a slight uptick in the number of COVID cases, so about tripling of it, which is still, uh, the Worcester prevalence was listed at about 4.4%, uh, which was, we were less than 1%, and that's pretty much the, the across the state, that's where we're seeing. And the hypothesis is with the increased wet weather, a lot of large events have moved indoors, so led to a little bit of indoor crowding. but. I think the larger message to us is come winter when we do move indoors due to weather reasons, we can potentially anticipate a little bit of an increase. How much of that is to be seen? There's no change in variance as yet, so the prevalence still remains the Omicron strain with about 20 sub-variants in play. And so it's anticipated also that the fall production of the new Omicron variant vaccine will potentially alleviate some of that. I think still the combination of vaccine-induced and natural immunity has definitely kept our numbers under control, but again, people at risk just need to be careful that it's, it's not a done deal. We're still seeing sporadic cases, so just to be aware of that. I just one question, Mr. Dennis, any concerns about West Nile virus in our area? Well, uh, so the, the, the town has been very proactive in terms of uh, uh, there's a s schedule of I believe the Central Mass Mosquito Alliance does spray, mm -hmm. and we are in contact with him in terms of uh, if there's an alert. So, mm -hmm. what about Triple E? Um, so, there's always possibilities, right? Uh, I think one of the public health tools we have is whatever that identify. We work in concert with uh, uh, the State Department of Public Health, making sure we have uh, some measures in place to. Uh, work with the residents, the towns, of uh, the patient that has been infected. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's been no human cases reported. Well, the there have been one human cases as of today. One. Yep. Okay. 
Great. Any other questions? No? All right. So we'll move on to review and discuss updates for the Central Mass Regional Public Health Alliance. Micah. All right. Um, I don't have a lot out of the ordinary to report. Um, we are kind of getting ready for all of the fall festivals, um, things like that. So there's a couple of big ones. The Pet Rock Festival, which I guess is going to have a lot of food. <laughs> and then um, there's always a festival at SAC Park. And um, no foodborne illness complaints or anything of that nature. Um, a lot of nuisance complaints, kind of an uptick in rodent complaints, which may be from all the rain, rising water levels, mm -hmm. and they're moving around. Um, and we're also addressing local issues, like if someone's leaving out food or attracting rodents in some way, we'll send them an advisement asking mm -hmm. them to not do that. Um, and that's kind of how we're trying to address it now, as well as just sending out any kind of information we have on what's going on with the rat populations across the state. Um, and that's really all I've got, unless anybody has any questions. No, foodborne illness, which you already addressed, that's always a concern in the summer, so, and, and with the water and the rain, that's always, but you addressed that already, so no further questions. All right, any questions, Gary? No, nope, I'm good, thank you. Great, thank you, Micah. All right, now uh, next is review meeting schedule for August. So do we want to look at the week of August 21st? That week Eight. I am on vacation. Okay. It's, I believe, August 18th. Oh, so you mean the 25th? You, were you living at? So I was, but Karen's on vacation. So what about uh, the 18th? Fine with me. me. All right. So Friday, August 18th. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Second. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. <Aye. laughs> we'll get this down. <laughs> so we're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>